Right then, guys. Lambretta vlog time. Got the day off work. As the client, uh, well, the event that he was going to was actually cancelled. And there wasn't really a suitable alternative, so just had the afternoon off. Had a slight development with the uh, the blue GP in that someone says says that they're going to come and have a look at it. Whether or not they do is yet to be established. You get a lot of people like this, as we know, but but he might do. Uh, my insurance is actually due to run out in about a week's time as well, so I've got a. I got a quote through from my insurance, but it's for both scooters, you see. Uh, and if I sell that one fairly quick, uh, fairly quickly, I won't have to get it insured. I don't, strictly speaking, have to get it insured now. But um, if it gets nicked or out, then uh, we've shit it. Oh, we're going to go out for a ride up into the hills and stuff, but it's a really windy day. So it's not bad where I am now because I'm out of, uh, you know, like I'm in the built up area. So I'm just going to potter about a little bit. Just for somewhere to go. Just taking it easy riding about. Has this guy seen me? Only at the last minute. I've swapped the rear. Uh, shock on mine, the damper thing for uh, another one I had in the garage um, I don't know, it's been feeling a bit sort of bouncy bouncy a bit as if the damper wasn't really doing it as well as it used to do so I've uh, swapped it for this other one and I measured it when the bike was just sat there um, I measured the centre of the the pivots for the the shock thing, you know, the things that they mount on um, checked how far apart they were and by putting this other shock on when it's just sat on its own like not with me on it um, it's it's like an extra centimeter higher it does feel a bit better oh yeah I must mention um, my dad had a bit of a disaster whilst booting it along the motorway after he'd been to York uh, at the weekend, just gone, um, he actually broke down fairly seriously. Seemed to just lose all power. They were sort of flying along at about 65, 60, 65, but for quite a long time from what I can gather. And then he sort of just lost all power um, after, after overtaking a lorry and pulling back in. Come on, baby. Uh, just lost all power, pulled to the side and then when he's tried to kick it up, just zero compression so it straight away sounded like a a hold piston as in the piston's just got that hot that it's melted a hole in it so when you try and turn it over there's just obviously no compression left for it um, it could have been that or it could have been apparently, I mean I'm, as I've said many times I'm not an expert but from what I've read could have been that or it could have been the rings sort of welding themselves to the side of the piston and just staying permanently clamped around it so not pushing outwards and again not giving you the compression that you need so yeah so he, he had to get recovery and sort of got recovery and took it to the garage had it stripped down and it turns out it was that a hold piston. I'll get you a picture of it, but it's all uh, in the. Uh, it's got it all stripped, and it's in the shed. But I'll get you a, a picture, and you can have a look. So he's pretty pissed off, as you'd imagine, but luckily he kept hold of his old Rapido 225 barrel. So he's just put that back on it, or he's in the process of getting that put back on it. Oh, and he's also getting a new crank fitted whilst he's at it because his other one were pretty worn out and it appeared to have a crack in it. Which uh, is not really what you want to see. 
on a crank in an engine. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. So, thanks for watching, as usual. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you feel that way inclined. If not, have a nice day. Come on, love. Right, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.